<laughs> Sharing this feels so weird. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is uju and this is life of bubbles if you're a returning subscriber or a returning viewer thank you so much for stopping by please don't forget to like don't forget to comment also forget to subscribe let's go to the channel let's get to a hundred subscribers it is going to be quite different i've been very I'm feeling so weird about sharing this. I didn't know if I wanted to share this. I didn't know if I don't know. I didn't know if I wanted to talk about this, but I've been procrastinating it for months. So I just decided to, you know, just shoot this video, you know, create an awareness. Someone out there might also be going through something um, similar and they might be confused and they might not know what to do or where to start. So I decided to share this um, video. So, yes, please, this video is more like my testimony and more like me sharing, um, creating an awareness for what happened to me. So, please try and watch this video to the end yes let's get right into this video okay i might get a bit emotional along the way but just a disclaimer sometime in december 2021 um i have a video on my channel where me and my sisters went for a spa date and we got a massage we did a pedicure I think that video was shot i think that was on the 20th of december or so i can't really remember that was a saturday so the following monday i woke up and was getting ready for work so while i was brushing my teeth i felt that i couldn't you know when you're brushing your teeth and you want to like goggle water in your mouth or hold water in your mouth to rinse off the toothpaste so one side of my face felt numb and i was like ah okay maybe um, i didn't sleep well maybe i slept on that side of my face for a long period of time so i went to work and i came back the next day i still had the same feeling i remember telling my mom i was like i don't know what's happening to me i called her because i wasn't home as at that time i was at my uncle's place so i remember calling my mom and I was like, oh, mommy, I don't know what's going on with me. I feel like I slept on um, one side of my face and it's now numb. It feels, it feels, it feels weird. Which was like, ah, okay, just maybe try and sleep on the other side to come back. Or maybe the massage you did was maybe they were a bit too hard that they touched something. So it will probably come back. So we just ignored it. And I was like, oh, she probably come back. I can't remember the date exactly, but I woke up like Wednesday morning or Thursday morning. Wednesday morning, yeah. I woke up and my face felt weird. And I was like, what's going on? I don't really understand what's happening to me. So I just quickly picked up my phone, opened the camera, and I was looking at my face. And the, the left part of my face felt weird like it felt like i couldn't feel it so i tried to talk and i was talking one side of my face i tried to close my eyes my left eyes wouldn't close i tried to smile i couldn't smile like i couldn't do this like this part of my face wasn't moving and you know instinct the first thing i did was to google who was just showing me um stroke this this i was like ha but let me not scare myself you know and um, sometimes google is really wrong so i quickly called my auntie's attention because i was supposed to be getting ready for work so i quickly called my auntie's attention and i was like look at what's happening to me i can't close my eyes i can't i can't really smile i can't really move the left side of my face i don't know what is happening and she's like ha what's going on she's like okay let's just watch how it is for the rest of um, the day 
So I went to work. And it was as if as time was going, it was getting worse. Because I remember going to work and I was trying to eat my lunch and I couldn't chew with the left side of my face. I couldn't chew, I couldn't when I'm talking like you could see my mouth bend. My my eyes were not blinking, like I was so scared. So I got back home that day and I called my mom. I think I had to go back home that day. My mom was like, please come back, please come back home. Let's know what is um, happening to you. So I quickly went home, even looking at my face, as at that time you could tell that something was wrong. I think I took a few pictures then, so I'm probably going to like show pictures of how my face looked. So it, it looked as if my face was bending towards um, the right hand side, like the left side of my face was just bending towards the right hand side. So I was like, what's going on? And yes, as I then, my, I had this ringing in my ear, like I felt so much pain in my ear and like the, the left side of my head, I felt so much pain. So my auntie contacted her sister who is a neurosurgeon and I was asked to visit the um, hospital. I visited BMH. BMH. I live in Podakot. If you're in Podakot, I'm sure you know BMH. I visited BMH on the 23rd of um, December. I believe it was a Thursday. I visited um, BMH and because of the pain in my ear, like it felt like my ear was ringing. Like I even remember when I entered the side, because I booked a ride, I went with my sister. Remember when I, I was inside the boat and the driver was playing the music, my ear just kept ringing and I was like, please turn off the music. Like I couldn't listen to anything that was high pitched or whatever. So I went to the image and God, I remember the long process and then I was in so much pain. Like I just needed maybe drugs, medication or something that could just, you know, ease the pain or relieve me from that pain I was feeling because my ear was ringing, my head was banging, I just wasn't feeling and then the long process of um, um, going to go open a file, do this, do that, I just put up with it and finally I saw the neurosurgeon and um, she asked the nurse to check my blood pressure and check my blood pressure and immediately they checked my blood pressure and they like took the notes that the nurse, the nurse wrote my blood pressure on to the neurosurgeon she shouted she was like how old are you and i told her i'm in my early 20s so i told her and she was like no this is not right your blood pressure is very very high what's going on so I was wearing a face mask and she was like, please take off your face mask because I explained to, I did consultation, so I explained what was going on with me, my face mask and she could see my face and she was like, try and talk and I was talking with like one side of my face because this side of my face couldn't move, like it couldn't move at all. Thinking about it now is so, it feels so scary. And I was still posting on social media, like I was posting old pictures, I was posting old videos. So I'm sure people, obviously, people don't even know what's going on with me. She was like, "Oh, you have something called um, Bell's palsy. It's an idiopathic um, disease. Nobody knows the cause. It might be an ear infection. It might be stress. It might be your blood pressure. It might be there's no known cause, but symptoms will last for about six months. So between two weeks to six months, you'll be noticing um, changes. Like you'll be noticing your face getting better. Ha. I started googling immediately. There was palsy um, signs, symptoms, treatments. What causes it? What? And apparently there was there's, there's no known cause. So she put me on medication. She put me on steroids, she put me on um, some antibiotics, she put me on, because my eyes weren't closing, my eyes were always tearing up, like my left eyes were always tearing up, because they couldn't close. So she gave me um, 
an eye drop that she would put in like every one hour. She would put it on my eyes wouldn't dry up and I wouldn't get an, an eye infection. Then she said I should um, create a blood pressure chart, two weeks blood pressure chart. I'm checking my blood pressure every morning for um, two weeks. So yes, I came back. Um, I came back home and I couldn't go to work for like four days. And then I started taking the medication, the steroids, the... So to sleep, I would use um, a tape to tape my eyes shut to sleep. Like I have to use a tape to like kind of close my, my left eyelids because if I try to close my eyes, they will still be open. Like you still be seeing my eyes open. So to prevent my eyes from drying out, I had to use a tape to like close out my eyes. So that, that's how I was sleeping for like a month plus. So I started taking the, um, the steroids um, medication and the rest and you know initially she didn't warn me that the steroids would make me gain weight. I can still get hungry like every hour I'm hungry, every hour I'm hungry. So even me at the point I was like ah, what's going on? So I said don't do it. So I remember then like I was still after like four or five days I resumed work but I had to wear a face mask so that uh, nobody would notice what was going on with me because I got tired of staying home, staying home and thinking about it. and I'm the person that could be going through something and like inside me I'm very unhappy. I feel very frustrated and frustrated and depressed about this thing but I wouldn't really know how to talk about it. So I feel like even my mom noticed because obviously she knows me very well and like the first four days she had to sleep on the same bed with me to make sure that I was okay, to make sure that I wasn't thinking about it too much, to make sure that I wasn't cracked. Imagine waking up one day and you can't move the left side of your face. Do you know how scary that is so I remember how I'll take pictures or take a video or something and just post and I get comments not comments per se but people responding in my DMs like I was going on you're adding so much weight or ah uh what thing they do your eyes like which you know, people just people are just so insensitive like yes I get that they don't on they don't know what's going on with you but I mean some thoughts that go through your head just keep it to yourself you don't actually need to start sending those type of thing to the person so after like two weeks of um, being on steroids I went back for another consultation with the neurosurgeon and there wasn't any change there wasn't any difference in my face my face was still the way it was and she was like ha okay you need to start physiotherapy that's the only way that you begin to feel better. So my mom talked to I think a few of her friends. She has a friend that this thing has happened to before and they advised me not to do physiotherapy. I still hear me very well. Oh uh, yeah so one of my mom's friends recommended we do traditional Physiotherapy. That's all these um, native bone setters. I know. Me, I was, I was very skeptical about it because me, I'm someone that if I'm sick, instead of drinking concoction or drinking, I rather go to the hospital and check what is wrong with me and get medication. So the neurosurgeon wanted to give me another batch of steroids. My mom was like, "No, please, that's." Um, that's when the neurosurgeon said telling us about the steroids making someone to add weight and also my mom was like no that it's one thing for me to be dealing with like my face being paralyzed it's another thing for me to now come and start worrying about me getting fat or gender so let me, let me let me deal with one thing at a time so i got all the steroids i was taking other drugs my medication so i started the traditional physiotherapy 
so i would go we're going two times a week tuesdays and thursdays we're going really early in the mornings so that i could finish and i could go to work because i was still working like despite i was still living a normal life working um going out i have some vlogs I think. hi guys today is 21st of january and it has been one month since this girl's closing but i can't just see improvement my eyes can close if, you, if you've watched those vlogs you probably noticed that my eyes blinking looked strange like i would blink and before these eyes would like react to blinking it takes time so it looked like i had like a disability so yeah it's because half of my face was paralyzed basically so um work when i resume work obviously i could not keep wearing face masks and also people at work now knew what was going on i was asking like ah what happened is your face is still like this looking at me if you know me if you look at me you definitely know that something is up so um, i wasn't really going out i wasn't really i was going out but only going out with like close people that knew what was going on with me like my sisters my family because it now became an annoying question like someone would see me and be like ah what happened to your face or, ah, why is your face like this it now became very, very annoying and so i started doing physiotherapy to i did have physiotherapy for i started physiotherapy in january 2022 so almost i don't even get into this i remember going for five nights of glory and um during prayer for healing be healing the sick and when he's like saying those prayers i'll like tapping and praying and he'll be like you're healed you're healed immediately and and then i tried to smile my face wasn't still moving see eh? that face i felt like it it, it almost tampered with my faith in god but you know when you go through you see other people getting healed and you're believing that you could get healed but then you go home and you try nothing so things take time despite your faith that's why believing in god like when god said it's time it's time it's time you can't force something to happen which you get it's a process so yeah i started the physiotherapy two weeks in there was no change three weeks in there was no change i even went for my sisters okay i think the only change after like two weeks was that I could now sleep without taping my eyes because if I didn't tape my eyes, my eyes would get super red and teary so I could now sleep without taping my eyes so that was good, at least something is getting better and during this phase, the main reason why I'm doing this video is because I feel like there's no much uh, Bell's palsy awareness out there this can happen to anyone, a child, a grown-up, a mom a man a woman it doesn't matter it ha can happen to anyone despite your age or anything you can just wake up and the left side of your face is paralyzed so when this thing happened to me like i was trying to do research like check i saw like two or three youtube videos like there was no much information about this i think where i even managed to see a little bit of information like people that were going through similar things was when i went on um, tiktok yeah, like you see people sharing their updates about Bell's palsy like two weeks after, a month after, some people got better after a month, some people got better after six weeks, well, some people that got better after a year, but well, some people that never got better. And it's just scary, like what would be my own outcome? It might only be two weeks, it might only be one month, it might only be two months, but I just decided to not put so much pressure on myself and just love myself despite the fact that i couldn't smile despite the fact ha i'm not going for my sister's traditional wedding that traditional wedding video that's on my channel yeah i still had shelf paralysis and the photographer was trying to snap us now like good picture ah smile now this guy you know this smile and then my family members were not kind of attack she can't smile like it is not possible <laughs> like, this is not me choosing not to smile this is the fact that i can actually not smile then when i noticed like a very very drastic change in my face was after my sister's white wedding like the day after or two days after 
there was small movements in my chin like i could smirk there was small movements and i remember telling my mom like she was going to get me i was like mommy look 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 at my face and she's there crying and you know i feel like that's when he hits that what happened to me didn't just affect didn't just affect only me it affected my mom it affected my whole family my whole family because they were dedicated to making me feel better about myself dedicated to making me love myself despite the fact that something changed so if I, something changed so i feel like everyone was just so so loving so and i'm so really i am so thankful to god for the family that I am born into because without them I don't think I would have been able to go through that you know my mom was so loving she was so protecting she always made sure that I was all right I remember she, she could ask me like 12 times a day are you okay are you sure you're okay you know if you're not okay you could talk to me I'm here so I am so grateful for them conclude this video i feel like everything might be a bit darker but um yeah so basically i'm thanking god for healing because now i can smile even though i'm still doing my physiotherapy at least i could see that i'm getting better i'm also very thankful for the people that he put in my life around me very, very grateful for that because i in that moment when you know i could have felt down mentally down i was surrounded by people who love me surrounded by people who care about me so yeah so to whoever out there that watches this video or that comes across this video and be at the moment you have Bell's palsy or facial paralysis or you know that's what's letting you know that you're going to be fine just take your medication do your physiotherapy and you know your healing might be slower than other people but i just want to let you know that you are going to be all right this is the fourth month of me having bell's palsy although i don't say i have it anymore because i'm getting better so yeah, but you're going to be fine you're going to be all right you're going to be healed you're going to be able to smile back you're going to be able to be in control of a facial expression and your face in general it's not something i would wish on even my enemy because it's so scary it's so frightening losing control of a part of your body it's it's a really scary experience so yeah i don't want to make this video longer than um it is um this is just me telling you to keep hoping keep your faith strong in god keep praying keep believing in him you know he's going to heal you whatever you're going through whatever sickness you're going through like god hasn't forgotten you this video please comment please subscribe please please share it you know if someone on your contact list or someone on your social media may be going through this you, you would never know you would never know really so share this video let's create an awareness bell's pause is a thing it happens people go through it you know people it just it just happens anyway thank you guys for watching this video bye